series of books that J.K. Rollins wrote. And uh, what you observe is that J.K. Rollins is today a billionaire. A billionaire. She made over a billion bucks from these books. Now the thing that really upsets me is she became a billionaire and I got poorer. Because I've done the math and I spent at least, I don't know, $3,000 on Harry Potter. I mean, really, right? Like, every book came out, right? My kids, I have two boys, and they were about Harry Potter's age. So every book that came out, I had to buy two copies. <laughs> right? One for each one of them, because they wouldn't wait until one read it, and then they would have to read it the night it came out. I'd, I'd go in line at midnight, and as they grew older, they could stand at midnight, but, you know, in the beginning, I would go. And we'd get the books, and then they would read them, but then I wanted also to, to, to read Harry Potter because I think the original one I read to them and then I got caught up. So then we got the audio tape, right? And then we take a road trip and they would hear it for the second time and I would listen to it for the first time and you know, we'd all as a family experience Harry Potter. And then there were movies, like nine of them. There were only seven books, but somehow it turned into nine movies. <laughs> and then there were rides in Disneyland and I don't know, at least $3,000. So here's the thing about inequality, right? J.K. Rollins became a billionaire, and I got poor by $3,000. That's just wrong, right? Why is that, why doesn't that really make sense? Did I get poor by $3,000? No. But if you're Thomas Piketty, if you're an economist, not to be just a Piketty, and what does an economist do? An economist looks at my bank account, and he sees that my bank holdings went down by $3,000. And he sees that the $3,000 flowed into J.K. Rowling's bank account and she got richer by $3,000. All an economist sees is that one party got rich and one party got poor. That's inequality. Inequality is expanded, right, by, by $6,000 for $3,000 of mine. Inequality just got much worse. What's missing? The value I got for the $3,000. And the problem with it is that it's not material. Nobody captures that value. Now, how much value do you think I got from Harry Potter if I paid $3,000 for the whole thing? Well, at least $3,000 worth. Well, much more than $3,000. Yeah. Again, $3,000, I kind of be indifferent. But I get much more than $3,000 worth of value from it. So I am richer, spiritually. Granted, Piketty can't measure it. Those poor economists, they can't measure it. It's not in a balance sheet somewhere. I just feel good. $3,000, more than $3,000 worth of spiritual value, and she got richer. But I got richer more than she did. Because yeah. she only got 3000 bucks. I got like six, seven, eight, maybe, you know, just having happy kids. How much is that worth? Priceless. Like when you have priceless, exactly, right? So I got super rich from Harry Potter. She got just a little bit richer.